everyone, welcome back to Beyond the Brick. I'm Joshua Hanlon, and today I'm very happy to be bringing you a review of the latest LEGO Ideas project based on Vincent Van Gogh's famous Starry Night painting. I don't think it's at all an exaggeration to say that this painting is one of the most famous paintings in the world, and millions of visitors go through the Museum of Modern Art in New York City every year to admire this incredible work of art. I've had the opportunity to look at this painting in person a couple of different times. You can see it here printed on the front of the instructions, and it truly is a, a beautiful work of art and understandably one of Vincent Van Gogh's best known works. Now, this set has 2,316 pieces and will release on June 1st here in the US. Now, I mentioned the instructions earlier. We'll take a look inside there real quick before we jump into the set. It has obviously the painting on the front, and then, as many of these sets will have, it has some information at the beginning, so you have some of Vincent Van Gogh's life story, uh, some of his other famous works uh, featured here as well, including his self-portrait. And then you have uh, the Starry Night story, so uh, a little bit about the painting itself, and then also a little bit about the uh, MoMA as well, where it is on display today. Some fun facts kind of about the painting. The next page is about the fan designer. So this is Truman, who is based in Hong Kong. And we actually did a interview with him back in 2020 about his fan design model. So we'll make sure to include a link in the description to that as well, where you can get kind of his background on his build as well. You can see, actually, this is his original fan design right here, uh, which you can compare to the build itself as we go through it. And then the final section is the couple of uh, LEGO designers here that worked on the set from LEGO itself and some of their thoughts on the build as well. So that's kind of an overview of uh, what the instructions include and then you launch on in with the build. Now to get to the set itself, uh, I really, really enjoyed the experience of building this and just seeing the painting come to life. One thing that probably catches your attention right off is the decision to go 3D with the design. And this is something that Truman, the fan designer, had purposefully done with his design and I think Lego I uh, really respected that and captured this really well. So uh, Van Gogh is famous for his technique of really applying large amounts of paint to his paintings, which when you look at them, they are heavily raised in sections, and so it almost has that 3D effect to it. And I think building like this really captures that well with the set. I'll start in the, the front section here. So you've got obviously this large uh, cypress tree in the foreground that catches uh, your attention. One great thing about this is, so this kind of just clicks in and out. It's got a little Technic pin on the back here. This part, uh, you actually build last in the build, so everything else uh, comes first, and then you attach this section. I really like this, though, because it has some great snot or studs not on top techniques here. So you've got kind of a core section, which I'll, I'll take off a couple of these pieces. So there's a core section here that has uh, a bunch of, you know, studs sticking out on the sides, and then you attach all of these branch and leaf type pieces to them just like that. And so the back kind of gives a nice perspective of that with this core in the middle and then all of the branches sticking out. And I think that captures obviously what you can see here which is kind of the the very twisty turny lines of the, the cypress tree. I'll leave that off for now actually so we can talk a little bit more about uh, the painting itself. You can move on to the village and you see the the large church uh, with its steeple which is kind of the dominant building in the village, and then using a lot of these corner uh, tile and plate pieces to create the, the roof sections of some of the houses in the village as well. Once you get over here, it gets very parts intensive. So this whole perspective would have been the view that uh, Van Gogh had from the uh, mental health facility asylum that he was in in France, and he would have looked out his window and seen a view similar to this uh, at, at nighttime from his room. Now, he couldn't paint at night, so this would have been uh, largely imaginative in many ways, and would have been him kind of recreating how he saw the night sky and the village and the trees and the hills in his mind. So you do see the, the hills, though, kind of rolling in from the right side. You see a lot of the uh, little cypress trees in the background there as well. I mentioned it's very parts intensive because it's tons of plates and then little quarter round tiles and just parts after parts kind of packed in there. But it creates a, a wonderful effect of so much depth and that 3D effect that I talked about earlier. 
We move up here uh, to kind of the mid section and you start to get into some of what would have represented kind of the mist rolling through uh, the hills uh, around where Vincent van Gogh was housed. And you get some of these uh, brighter color pieces, just like in the painting itself where he used some of the uh, brighter colors to represent that. And I really like what the, uh, the Lego designers did here with using um, a lot of slopes to kind of give as much of that rounded effect as possible. And I think they, they captured that pretty nicely. Maybe the, the toughest section of this whole thing to capture is the section towards the top where you really get sort of the uh, swirling galaxy type effect almost in the nighttime sky. And this I'm sure was a, a major struggle uh, for the designers, not an enviable task to try to capture all of those swirling shapes with Lego bricks. Uh, you see a lot of these uh, arches and inverted arches that are used to create a lot of those shapes. Um, then there's some hinges in there as well to kind of give the, the angles that are needed. And all of this clicks in, I'll take a section off for you here. So all of this clicks in onto kind of snot bricks there and then you've got uh, the brick right here and then two by two brick and it just clicks right in just like that. So that's kind of how all of that is attached onto the back. Now, one thing that I, I liked that the LEGO designers did uh, that I think was an improvement over the original fan design is these printed uh, star pieces up at the top here. So obviously the fan designer not having access to new printed pieces like that kind of brick built a lot of that. And I think uh, the, the way that LEGO approached this um, looks more realistic to uh, Van Gogh's painting and creates a better effect. So I'm really glad they chose to go uh, with all of the printed pieces and it just feels very premium as well, which is what you want from uh, these higher end ideas projects. I particularly like this section over here with kind of the, the crescent moon um, and again, kind of built up from the, the base of the painting there. Now, probably the most tedious section of this build, the biggest struggle of this build was definitely the blue wall in the background. So. Uh, as you saw when I took uh, this section off, I can even maybe, let's see if I can remove some of this here. So yeah, I'll remove that as well and you can start to get a better idea. All of this is a massive blue wall in the background and it's all um, plates. Most of them are one by four plates in three different shades of blue. And as you're building this, it is definitely a struggle, uh, at least it was for me to keep track and make sure that you have all of the correct shades of blue where they're supposed to be. I'm sure it was extremely difficult for the designers themselves to decide what shade of blue to what to put in each spot because obviously uh, Van Gogh's original painting again has lots of curves and is very swirly in design so trying to capture that with a bunch of one by four plates is not an easy thing to do. But as far as the build process this was definitely the most tedious and you really have to pay attention to try to get those plates uh, in the right spot. I can actually flip it around for you as well here and you can get a kind of another perspective on this. So you can see it's just all of these different uh, plates and then the various uh, shades of blue. I'm sure I messed up a few of them in there somewhere, but uh, that was definitely the, the toughest part of the build. Uh, the back is also a good way to show uh, it has this kind of hook area here, a spot to hang it on the wall. So obviously it has this fantastic frame uh, you could definitely display this on your wall and I think it would look really good. And then it's got all this support with the plates on the background as well. We'll flip it back around now and check out the front. Uh, I mentioned the frame, so it's got these great rounded pieces uh, and I can take one of these off here. So it's just a whole bunch of these uh, one by four rounded pieces on the top that give a really nice frame effect to it and add so much to the overall build um, that you wouldn't get if it didn't have that frame. Another thing uh, that you definitely have to mention is the minifigure of Van Gogh himself. Now you can see him at the easel. They've included a uh, printed tile there with uh, the painting on it, a miniature version of the painting. And this can kind of swivel in and out. So you can kind of swivel it to the side or out in front, depending on how you have this displayed and how much space you have. But I'll take this off real quick then and show you Try to get a better shot of the minifigure itself. And so he's got the, he's got the paintbrush there um, with his paint palette and they've included the colors obviously that are mostly representing on the, on the, represented on the painting. Um, the little printed tile I think is really great as well. Like that piece alone 
is fantastic, uh, even if that was uh, the only version of the painting we got. Uh, I think the, the minifigure is very representative of the, the portraits of Van Gogh that you see with the orange hair, uh, the lighter blue shirt, and the uh, kind of darker orange pants there. Um, even some nice uh, side printing on the sleeves with the white lines. You flip them around, some back printing as well. Kind of his uh, vest that he has on there. So I really like that added effect. That was something that um, Truman, the, the fan designer, had done a great job of including that. And I'm really glad that Lego kind of stuck with that and decided to include um, that element as well. So this set uh, is also very sturdy. Um, it's got this little, it's got this little piece on the bottom here, if you can see that. So that kind of helps stand it up. Uh, as long as it's not on a surface that's going to be, you know, pushed around or shook too much, should be perfectly fine. And then, like I said, you can also hang it from the wall as well. I would definitely recommend um, picking up this set and checking it out if you're at all a fan of. Van Gogh or just kind of an art uh, fan, art history fan in general, I think you, you won't be disappointed with this set as well. I think it uh, represents the original fan design really well. Uh, they took uh, all of his great ideas and were able to improve them in areas and just make, make the set even better. So this is really a fantastic design. Uh, if you're interested in learning more about uh, Van Gogh's work or Starry Night in particular, uh, definitely check out the Van Gogh Museum, which is in Amsterdam in the Netherlands. Uh, it's a fantastic museum. I've had the opportunity to visit there a few years ago. Um, while this painting is not on display there, there are many other uh, works of his on display, including um, my all-time favorite Van Gogh painting, his Almond Blossoms painting. So definitely follow them online. If you ever have the opportunity, check out that museum in person. It's fantastic, and they post a lot of really good information online about Van Gogh. I will also put a link in the description to a fantastic uh, art history YouTube video uh, that an art history channel made here on YouTube about uh, the Starry Night painting where you can learn much more about kind of the background of Van Gogh and this painting with lots of little details and information in there if you want to learn more about the inspiration for this incredible Lego set. But thanks so much for watching everyone and I hope you enjoy your build of Van Gogh's Starry Night.